Welcome to Streaming the Legs. My name is Mr. Orange and we play Dog Duty. Welcome to this review video about Dog Duty, which is developed by Sanadi and Lizer and published by Soidesco Publishing. So it's a Dutch company, Dutch developers or publisher. So at the moment it is positive rated on Steam, which is already cool. So it came out on the 13th of August 2019. So the game is already a little bit older. So I received this, uh, yeah, the game for review purposes by the developers but this will not have any impact on my opinion about this game so this little disclaimer put aside so you can see it's an it's a sort of strategy action in the strategy game so it has some very cool uh, uh, pixel art style uh, graphics and design and uh, and you you you're not really uh, let's say you're not you you have to like in typical strategy game you have to find your path uh, and the way that you just click on the uh, on the on the, on the screen uh, with a cursor and then that person is walking there and then it's doing some tiles. So, what is written on the Steam stop page, my friends? As some evil big wig octopus commander and his army of threatening world peace, it's up to you and to your squad of misfits to eliminate the octo scum, liberate outposts, defeat bosses and wreck these wicked squids up be beware they are well armed all right so game is at the moment still in early access so that means so uh, why is it in early access the developers say it's, it's in its final development stages but could still use some feed uh, some user feedback to improve the game the game is in early access to detect bugs gather your user feedback and find over improvement points furthermore we really want to hear what players find important and where our focus should be. So yeah, it's an early access, and you uh, you're welcome to uh, to tell your opinion about this game. So one thing that I recognized uh, first when I was playing it, I thought it's a little bit it's a little bit difficult. It was a bit difficult. You will see this now uh, as uh, as this video progresses. On the one hand, a bit difficult, but I guess uh, after yeah, you get into this game, then it might be not so difficult anymore. So it's mostly uh, in the beginning when you start a game and you, you do not get into it uh, right away, then it's sometimes a bit difficult. And then I had the impression that there were some, some issues when I hear, for example, I'm just walking through those objects. So I think this needs to be improved. Maybe it's it's already improved via patches, updates in a later version than uh, the version that I played. So I can't really say this. Uh, so this is something I would like to see and then on the other hand I also think it should be a little bit faster So I think the the characters are not really walking fast enough So where when I when I saw this uh, game in the beginning I thought it's going to be not a tactical game. I thought more it's going to be a uh, some sort of action adventure so because this is actually what, what I I preferred with the I, I would have preferred to have a classical action uh, action shooter, twin stick shooter, or something like this. On this, with the setting, this would have been uh, very, very cool. But um, yeah, developers uh, decided to take uh, to take the the path to to some sort of uh, tactical strategy game. So it's it's not not a bad thing. So overall, so of course, if you like bad tactical games, then it's you you like this. And if you more in action. A gamer like me then you would say ah how awesome would this game be if I could just like run through with my twin sticks and uh, blast up the <laughs> the little world so but put this aside so I'm I'm seeing it as a tactical game so this is also therefore uh, my uh, yeah my, my review is based on this fact so I can't change the fact that it's not an action game of course so game will be around 10 euros and it will uh, later this year it will come out of uh, early access so later this year I think they meant with 2019 but uh, it's still in early access as far as I see so yeah it's actually coming out uh, is there I think there's some information uh, dog duty is coming to Nintendo switch PlayStation for an Xbox one in spring 2020 so yeah it's coming now also to console so I was playing the, the PC version so this also means that the early access period will end with the 1.0 version will come out on Steam. Ah, okay, now in spring comes out the 1.0 version, so the early access uh, version ends in to in spring 2020. So 
in March. Well, now it's February, so in March, April, maybe. So check out, yeah, check out the Steam Store page page, of course, uh, for some more information. So what else to you know? Different price. Yeah, there will be a higher price than 10 euros when it then comes out. And what is the current state? The current state, yeah, I mean, now, now it's stable, so it didn't crash for me. So it's definitely a stable game that you can play. All right, so first question. Before I'm jumping also in some uh, reviews on the Steam Store page, is it fun? Is it fun? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. I would say it's a decent tactical shooter. Uh, would I recommend it? I would recommend it for fans of tech of the genre of the tactical shooter genre and that likes this sort of uh, pixel art graphics who can live with it. Uh, like like XCOM, like X fans of XCOM games or, so, uh, or similar. So I can definitely recommend it. They should take a look at it. If you're more an action shooter friend, uh, then um, this game might maybe not for you. So it's more, as I said, since it is more a tactical oriented game. Okay, so what else? So we check out now the Steam Store page uh, review. So mostly, most people, of course, uh, reviewed it in early access. Let's pick some out. So some person, uh, YQ Zoki, who got it also for free, product received for free. He says, Doc Duty is a top-down isometric small team action game that feels like it has some old school inspiration from the Commander's games in that it has some real-time tactics and separated into the smaller missions, even though the map is fairly open and accessible with the several vehicles in the game. And so he writes a lot, a lot of text. So let's jump to his conclusion. Dog Duty is a fairly fun action game with real-time tactics using a team of three characters. It's one of those games that you either will warm up to and enjoy it more or you will just not have a good time at all. Yeah, he gives it 6.5 out of 10. Even though I'm giving it a heads up, it definitely could use quite a few areas of improvement in my opinion, so I hope to see a few uh, improvements and rebalancing before the release. Then uh, Geoff Smites writes, really fun action RTS hybrid, Unity engine, pixel art, easy control, fun, dirty sense of humor, isometric view, really fun time. Anti-Dude also received the game for free. This is a fun top-down action shooting game, even though its keyboard and mouse control are a little rough. Yeah, I can agree with it. The, the mouse control is definitely could be better. So as I said, so I don't, uh, I hope uh, this will then change uh, with the final version. Um, because it's early access, so everything we say is always uh, under the condition that it will change. So, ah, this part of the game was actually really fun, so I really, really, uh, sh really, really made a big action point here. And then I died at one point, so and I had to go back. So this was actually not the fun part. So and uh, a negative review update keel gawson writes okay i do believe i can move on from my past grievance uh, with the game since it's been uh, addressed concerning the profanity you really have to drive romeo insane to actually get him to say curse as much as he did before with the arcade voice mode enable though okay well he's just complaining about some profanity yeah that's uh who would complain about profanity in a game come on so Arian uh, writes, gives it a thumbs up. He says it's an arcade shooter style real-time tactics game. So, yeah, that's actually a good description of this game. And this, uh, you control a team of three commanders. They aren't adorable yet. Battle hardened commander dogs, however. You and your goal here is to destroy all the Octo lieutenants, lieutenants via boss fights before you can enter Octopia, where the Octopus commander is waiting for you. <laughs> Written for and 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 so a lot of positive reviews a lot of positive reviews Well, I would say I give it a thumbs up for fans It's definitely a game for fans. So check it out if you like tactical commander styled Strategy games then uh, this game might be maybe definitely worth it and for 10 euros. It's, it's a good price I would say so all right, if you enjoyed this video, my friends, then I hope you will subscribe to my channel and you will also give me a thumbs up for this video, of course, and and you leave me a commentary, of course. This will be, be like the best because uh, then we get a little bit more into interaction with the community, which I really, really love. So 
Community interaction is just simply the best. Just write something stupid. This would be also cool. <laughs> I would love this to see my friends. <laughs> All right, check out my other videos. See you the next time. Bye bye. Have a good day. See ya.